My name is Rebecca Trumbull and I'm going to demo for you a little bit of a part of a class that we'll be learning. It's a class I'm teaching in Painting, Alberta in Alberta, Can uh, Canada on September, the convention is September 13th to the 16th. This class, which is class number 334, it is Mystic Harbor Lighthouse and is a four hour acrylic class on canvas taught September 15th, Saturday at 8 a.m. to noon. So I'm going to show you a few little things that we will be learning in this class if you decide to take it. We'll be working on various types of foliage. So I will start by showing you how we get that little spiral type tree. And for that, I use a deer foot brush. And I just take, dip my deer foot brush in my dark green color. I'll put one right here, which you can't see. And then I just tap on the shape of the tree. So if you're not doing this upside down, you generally can get it pretty straight up and down. I'm not sure if mine's going to... No, it's not coming straight. So we just tap on the shape of the tree and let it dry. And then we'll go back and add the highlight colors. So there's the tree started. And while that one's drying, I will show you this little long flowy one. There's no name for it. So I'm going to grab a liner brush, a zero liner. I'm going to just get some brown color. And I'm just going to put the trunk on first so we know where we're at. So you can see that. So I'm just going to start, I'm just going to make a few, I'm not going to do the whole tree, it'll just take way too long. So we've got a curly thing here, got one here, say another one here, and one flipping off there. You see that okay? Yeah, you can see that a bit. Let me add another one. We got one coming off this limb here, and here, and here, and say here. Okay, and then all we do for these, I just take my same, I'm using a zero liner or a zero round, either one, same thing, will work. I am taking my brush just into a green color. Again, like I said before, I'm using acrylic paints on this project, and I'm just making little comma strokes to form these leaves. Be able to see that so far away. Okay, I'll add a few more. And then, on the, so I just did those on one side of each trunk thing, branch. On the other side, I add a different, a little bit different color. And I know you can't see that from there, but in class and on the painting, you will see it. So just a bunch of these little will give us this tree here. This is dry, so let's go back to that. And actually, so I'm gonna grab my deer foot brush. Since we're right there, I'll go ahead and do a shrub too while we're at it and let that dry. So I'm taking my deer foot again. I'm gonna put a shrub right down here. And just shape it into the shape I want. It's in a shrub shape. Okay, that's dry. So what we're gonna do is rebase it with that dark green again. So just go right over it because we're gonna now we're gonna work this tree wet and wet. So let's just go back over this, rebase it all, so we we'll get it wet again in the same color. Okay, now we we'll take my dirty brush. Don't wash it. Don't rinse it. I'm loading it into a different color green, a lighter green. So we're going to make kind of a medium green now because you're working it in with the dark green you already have on your brush. And then we're going to start highlighting it on the top and sides. So just start bringing these colors in. It's going to be hard for you to see, I know, but you'll get the idea. Now I wipe my brush. I just did a wipe wipe. I'm loading it with a lighter green. And highlight it some more. So 
So we're working on trying to make it into the spiral shape. Um, that's dry enough. And that one I'm going to use a crescent brush um, or lunar blender. That's actually what I'm using, which is a moon shape or crescent shaped bristly brush. It's a stiff brush. Again, I'm just going to rebase it in the color because now we're going to work wet and wet. So I'm just rebasing it. Now I'm just taking my dirty brush into a lighter green. I'm just tapping and making little frown shapes with my brush. And I'm going lighter still. And these are for these shrubs down the very bottom, the purple and green ones. That's what we're working on with this. And this is the brush that gives them the shape that they have. I know that's hard for you to see, but I'm going to add a much lighter color than I would normally add, but you can see it better on the DVD, on the video this way. Yeah, you can start to see that better. So anyway, so in this class we'll learn the background, of course, and then we'll learn how to um, do all those different types of foliage, and we'll put some, I love birds, we'll put some fun little birds in there as well. So I hope to see you in Canada. If you can't take my class, feel free to stop by the booth. We'll see you soon. Thanks.